In this video, I am going to talk about my home project section here in the back book of my setup. And to get to the home project section, I use this tab at the top uh, and the tabs down the side here uh, signify the different areas that, uh, you know, like, for example, TV and uh, like TV series and movies that we want to watch. Um, writing stuff, health stuff, clothes, presents, music, YouTube, uh, renovation, people, and so on. So, um, I have, th this section starts, <laughs> it doesn't start, like, the, the, huh, how to put this, the section right before this section is the next action section. Uh, but the uh, home project section doesn't start immediately on the page uh, after the final next action context. It actually starts sort of from the back. Uh, so here, the section after the home project section is my calendar. So I have a year's worth of calendar pages here. It's its own signature and my home project section, because I don't know how many uh, pages I'll need. So I sort of go backwards instead. So the uh, next section section and the home project section will meet in the middle when I use up pages from the back and from the front. This is different from the, the um, work uh, project section because I always know how many projects I'll have at work. Every half year, my boss gives me, you know, my, uh, my mission. <laughs> mission, should I choose to accept it? So I always know that it's like, I have nine projects for the next six, six months, or I have 12 projects for the next six months. Uh, but for home, that's much more nebulous and uh, unpredictable. So that's why I need this flexibility in my setup. Um, I mean, I could, I do have a number of, this is the Sunday maybe section, where I have all of my project areas divided by their respective tabs. So all in all, I think I have like 25 areas. So I could just make one spread per area and put all the 25 tabs uh, on those pages. But the thing is that maybe, for example, car, um, maybe I won't do anything. Maybe there are no projects pertaining to the car area of my life for the next five months. And so why should I make a spread for it when I'm not going to use it? So I only make the spreads or the pages that I actually use, which means that I have about, let's see, maybe 13 uh, pages that I've marked with the tabs. And they, they <laughs> my home projects are not as, structured as my work projects. Uh, they're more like general ideas, guidelines. Um, so for example, my, my present page is for presents I want to give away when people have birthdays and so on. And right now, uh, the, the closest birthday is my husband's. So I have ideas for what I want to buy him here. I also have, I do want to mention in my someday maybe section back here, I have the same tab, this one with the uh, stars, colorful stars. So I have a more sort of comprehensive list of, of ideas, present ideas for different people there. But that's just like a list to pick and choose from. And this is more current, like this, these are the actual things I want to Google and see if I find or go out and actually buy. Um, 
so there's the home project section has it sort of smacks of someday maybe because it's not mandatory not, nothing or almost nothing in here is mandatory i don't need to do them i don't need to buy this hat that i've planned <laughs> for my husband um but it's things that are more current than the stuff i put in the some someday maybe section it's more it's things that you know i really want to do this but we'll see you know so it is maybe but it's less maybe <laughs> than the Sunday maybe section. I I I don't know. The, it's just how my mind works. It it, it works for me. Uh, other things I've put here, stuff I want to read, questions for my physiotherapist, things we want to watch, like movies and TV series, um, YouTube ideas like the whole this planner series planner section series I'm doing right now I've planned here these are the remaining ones um, well renovation people who have birthdays all sorts of stuff so yeah is there anything else I should say about this no I don't think so I do have uh, an overview of, of the, the bills I pay on the next page is a paperwork and money page but I'm not going to show that because it's none of your business <laughs> and I also have a routine page like my morning routine lunch routine and evening routine like I, I don't follow it religiously but it's there if I need to you know check what like it's a, an ideal day and when i've had a period of falling off the wagon from stuff i i go to this list to get back on the horse as it were and just check off these things i also have a when did i last page i haven't really used it but it's for things like uh when did i uh, clean the drains when did I clean the fridge when did I clean the oven and so on and finally I also have a where the fuck is for things that I often or that I either that I often don't find so I put I put if I I'm searching for my mobile phone for example uh, and I find it somewhere I put put the, the place where I found it on this list. I actually stopped doing this because I realized after a while that it was always charging. Every time I searched for my mo mobile phone and didn't know where, where it was, it was charging. So I actually learned that about myself that, you know, go and check the charger. Um, all things that, you know, when you, when you put things away and think, this is a really good place for this thing, and then you forget all about it. Well, you can actually write down where you put it because a year later when you're looking for it you have no idea so that's not really project stuff but they're in the project section because it's sort of like permanent information about different uh, areas i guess so they need to be somewhere so why not here <laughs>